Hi everyone. Over the past couple of weeks, the team has made significant progress on Nautis Home. We are pleased to share our development insights with you. This month we'll hear from the development team about development. The focus over the past month has been on integration. In short, that means bringing all the individually developed features together and making sure they all communicate properly. Here are some examples of integrated features we have been working on. When you change the weather conditions of the environment in the weather menu, the weather systems in the simulator will adjust on the fly to your changes. When you select an environment, vessel, and starting position, the simulator will place the selected vessel in the correct location. When loading a vessel in an environment, it will also load the corresponding ship controls and conning layout that match the selected vessel. The ship controls now communicate directly with the ship's propulsion systems and the conning receives data from the ship's sensors. For the first time, we have been able to sail around with all user interaction happening purely inside the Nautis home ecosystem, a big milestone. We have also started creating installers for Nautis Home so that the software can for the first time be tested internally outside of our development environment. All in all, Nautis Home is really coming together now, changing from a collection of features into a cohesive simulator. A lot of time is going into this process, but it means that we're getting closer to making a release happen this year. Interface. The interface design is being integrated with the Nautis Home software as we speak. This means we'll be able to show you more on that in the coming monthly updates. Here is another preview, this time the UKC information, which stands for Under Keel Clearance. Crucial data not to run your ship aground. Now we come to my favorite part of the update, the content. For everyone who is waiting for a cargo vessel, we have the newest addition, the Dogger Banky. This Roro ferry has an overall length of 215 meters and is 31.5 meters wide. Great to sail in the port of Rotterdam, a top three ferry port in Western Europe. Or choose to sail in more exotic scenery such as in Rio de Janeiro, Sydney, or Hong Kong. Thank you again for your enthusiasm and patience. Stay tuned for next month's update. Yours sincerely, the Nautis Home Team, and see more toys. Hey, thanks for watching. And on a personal note, for July, I might be a little late on getting these out if you've been looking forward to them. I'm uh, moving and we'll be closing on a house and moving out of the old house right around the end of July. So maybe a little late coming out, but I'll see if I can get it going. Hopefully I have a computer set up. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next update.